Hey, what is up? Hey, I traded in my Samsung S4 for this Nokia Icon phone. Looks kind of thick because it's in a protective case that I needed to be in, but pretty cool phone. It had Windows 8, but I signed up to be like, you know, for an app developer or whatever, which is real easy through Microsoft, and then it lets you uh, install the beta versions of, of software which I, it let me get the Windows 8.1, which has a Cortana built in, that personal assistant that's supposed to be like the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's pretty cool. I was driving home though, it's pretty, and I noticed that, uh, let's see here, I'm gonna send me a text with my work phone. You gotta do the T9 to, uh, I don't know if I spelled it right. I'm gonna send the message. You got a text from Wanna read it or ignore it? Read it. The message is text Cortana. Reply, call back, or are you done? Reply. Okay. What would you like to say? Android sucks and this Windows phone is pretty badass. <laughs> it's okay. gonna censor me. Android sucks Windows phone is pretty. Send it, add Why more, or try again. Send it. I sent your message. Let's see if it comes on this phone over. Video's gonna start back up. I didn't even notice that it would do that. That's awesome! My Google Samsung S4 phone was so buggy at starting and stopping videos with Bluetooth. This is just a Pioneer Bluetooth radio. That personal assistant is badass. We have a Uconnect in our uh, 2013 Dodge vehicle that tries to do that stuff, and it sucks. If I get my wife. But anyway, yeah, so I was able to receive a message, reply to it, and send it back to the other person without ever touching the phone. My YouTube video was playing in the background, which it still is, and then it, it continued. But the really cool thing was, I do notice that when I turned off the car and went in to go get me a soda, the YouTube video that was playing in the background, it's Alex Jones, so I don't need to really rewatch it, I just like to listen to it, it stopped. And then I went in to get a drink. And then when I went back out there and continued to drive home, it, uh, I noticed that it had kicked back on and it was playing again. I didn't touch the phone. I had it, you know, I took it out of the car and then I just put it back on the charger and back in the cradle. But the Dr. video, Ron there it goes. That is awesome. From Dr. Ron Paul, who put himself through college and all the rest of it. Yeah, you could go back to the video. So you could do other things. I did have to use an app to do that, but. This is mega tube app, I think, so I'm going to go ahead and buy that one from the developer. Just click on the button here, and it'll take a second. It does cool, because this one does go back to where it was, so that is pretty cool. So it's playing. It'll full screen if you turn it. I know it doesn't look real good, because I got some dust in between the protector and the phone already. Was that you went and gave health care for free. Poor people just didn't pay. But, like, when you... It stops for a second, and it'll... it'll continue again. I think it's kicking the audio only mode, mode, I think what it does that, so I'd be saving on the bandwidth. That's cool. There's going to be some stuff that I'll be missing that I had on my other Samsung Android phone, you know, the, the photo editor app I really liked. I'm going to have to try to find something to compete with that in the Windows app store. Maybe I'll find something that's good, I don't know, but just like anything, you got to go through a zillion apps before you find one that's good, you know. I went through several uh, of these YouTube apps before I found that this one was pretty much the one I'm going to be using. And it is letting me log in and go to my subscriptions and everything, so that is awesome. So, it runs the background, it'll do audio only, and the phone is handling it well. I mean, and the fact that it's pausing it and then restarting it when I get out of the car and back in the car is pretty cool.